Nothing's personal, but you know, it's it is what it is. I want to fight him, and that's it. Pro boxing fans here in Manchester for Smith Eubank 2, and I bumped into Darren Till. Darren, it's been a, a little while, man. It's been a little while. Last time I spoke to you, we were hoping you'd be in the ring by now. What's going on, man? It's just tough getting the right fight. Like I, I just said, Mike Perry is the bare knuckle champion now. Me and him have had our own little mini fight in the gym where we try to knock fuck out of each other. He's the standing now on the Misfits for the Logan Paul Dennis fight, which I don't think Dennis is going to make the fight anyway. So I, it's probably not going to look likely that it's going to be on that. So uh, I don't know, maybe our own main event in Liverpool for me and Mike Perry. That's the fight I want. I've called a lot of people out as I always do. Uh, I'm not going to stand here and give reasons why I want to fight these people. I'm not going to stand here and give reasons why I want to fight Carl Frock. As if he, he, you know, as if anyone say like, oh, how can he beat him? But I know I can beat him, so that's why. And he's a, he's, he's a great British boxer of all time. So this is what it is. Are you disappointed on what's gone on so far? Obviously, you said you called a lot of people out. Ideally, you'd probably want to have been out maybe once or twice this year. Um, disappointment, or is it just you just carry on as normal? Uh, it's going to come. Sooner or later, I just gotta be patient. Uh, I, I want the right fight in the right location, on you know most of my terms, for the right money, and then we'll go from there. I've got a, I've got a lot of good people helping me in the background, especially me uh, Paul Smith helping out, uh, who's Liam's brother. I got me advisor Dudu Zani Zuma in South Africa. We're trying to make big things happen there with promotion. So I've got a very solid team around me, and I've got a uh, you know other people and that. So. What about the PFL? Have they come knocking for you? Yeah, everyone came knocking as soon as I left the UFC. Big offers were getting thrown around, but as I said, I want to make the right decisions, the right choices for myself and for me, my own well-being. So, you know, speaking to my team, it's it's just it's about making the right moves and the right choices. Paul Froch is uh, online doing his thing on his YouTube channel. Obviously, you've had a back and forth, but you know, what's the situation between you and Carl? Are you all right? Is everything good? No, ask him, mate. I, I don't hold no. No hatred towards many people. I don't know. Nothing's personal, but you know, it's it is what it is. I want to fight him, and that's it. Um, let's talk about this fight, Smith Eubank too. Last time we spoke about it, it was actually after the fight. A lot of people said, "Listen, this rematch doesn't need to happen." Liam Smith won him conclusively. You know, he knocked him out. Um, but now we're here, second time around. There seems to be a lot more interest the more closer we get to this fight. Do you think it's going to be a repeat or revenge for for Chris? Obviously, you know what I'm going to say whether I was in the gym or not, support your own, but it's, I think it's going to be a repeat. I've seen Liam in the gym, I've even sparred with Liam and I'm a fucking, I'm a tank of a fella. It's just, Liam's, Liam's just got that style to beat Chris. I, I, I don't really know Chris, I don't, whatever, but I just, styles make fights, this is why you make fights and I just don't think Chris Eubank Jr's got the style to beat Liam. I think he's probably got more the style to, to, to match up better against Connor. I just don't think he matches up well against Liam, the way Liam is. He's very underrated and even when you're in there with him, the, the stuff he does, the little slight moves and that's so, all, you know, coming down to it, obviously taking away being biased and being his friend and trainer partner. I just, I think it's a repeat. I think it's going to be a harder fight over the more rounds, but I still do think Liam's going to stop him. I don't think it goes to points at all. I think it's going to be a stoppage, mate. Eight, eight round stoppage. We actually talked about punch resistance after that fight. I asked you the question, look, he's been messing about and trying to make that weight for the Conor Ben fight. Obviously went down, would that punch resistance, would that affect him that fight? You say, yeah, maybe he could have. This fight, he's making weight fully. There's nothing, yeah. no in between. That, that could have been a big factor, because he, he made weight uh, when he didn't have to. So that stuff plays a big part and stuff like that. But. If he's coming a bit heavier, that's, that's probably going to be good for him, have a little bit of weight on Liam and stuff like that. But still, I just, it, I don't think, it, when it comes to Liam, I think Liam's, it doesn't, I don't, don't think it matters with weight and that is style. Liam doesn't stand in the, in the middle of the ring and he doesn't like, he doesn't like thinking that he's just got a solid guard, a solid base. His feet are always under him. I'm speaking logistics here now, his feet are always under him and he's always in punching position, defensive position. So, I don't know, as I say, they both trained hard. I'd say Chris has trained extremely hard. Obviously, wants that thing, but coming down to the nitty gritty, I just think, I just think Liam's going to be too overwhelming in there for him. I really do. I, I truly believe that. Final two from myself. Uh, you're good friends with Tyson Fury. You know Tyson's fighting Francis, who you know as well. Yeah. Um, 
question for you, is that fight going to be more competitive than Mag McGregor and Mayweather? <laughs> Behave yourself. Uh, question. May Zephyr for life. Zephyr for life. Uh, Mayweather McGregor. Is that was that is that going to be more competitive than Fury? Uh, I think Tyson. I think, in my opinion, in the heavyweight division, I think Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk are, are the two best heavyweights in the world right now. So I don't think that like I don't think what's that on me? Oh, yeah, good luck. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that Francis is going to really bother him unless he hits him. But Wilder's a big as puncher as, as Ngannou. I like Ngannou and he's making the money and he will believe that he's going to win. But comes down to the nitty gritty. Oh, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk are the two best heavyweights in the world right now, and they're probably going to be for the next few years if they carry on. So that's how I see that fight going. Tyson's going to dominantly win, I think. And with all respect, I like both of them. Tyson's obviously I know Tyson, you know very well. So. Dominant win for Tyson on that one. Thank you for myself. Um, last weekend, last weekend, uh, Daniel Dubois for Alexander Usyk. Post fight, Tony Bellew. We decided we decided a, a miss up there, but anyway, Tony Bellew said that Daniel Dubois quit, like Kell Brook did a couple of years ago. Do you believe that's correct? Do you believe that that is the case, or was it just a case that he was inexperienced? Listen, mate. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. So whatever I say doesn't really fucking matter. I seen the best thing I seen, and I think it was Ben Fingy said it. If you're Usyk's team, it was a low blow. If you're Dubois' team, it was legal, and that's all it comes down to. We're never gonna know. Usyk won the fight. If would he have got up? Who knows? I, I, listen, there's gonna be so many boxing experts now. Everyone on Twitter will like to argue it back and forth, and that's one thing why I've never argued on Twitter. I just troll people the way they told me because. There's just no point getting into these debates or arguments on Twitter because they just they just waste time and I ain't getting that time back in my life. So if someone says something, I just say something back and that's all she wrote. If it was legal or illegal, it's, it's ask everyone in here, mate, what they think. 50 are going to think legal. What the fuck does it matter? Usyk won the fight, so that's it. Final one, a name that you got linked to in the past is Logan Paul. I just want your thoughts on his wrestling. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen him in WWE, but he's... He looks phenomenal, man. What do you make of that? Very athletic guy. Uh, trains hard. Looks in good shape. Obviously got a little bit of help from his friend Steroid or something like that. But yeah, a very athletic guy. Both brothers are, as I said. I was speaking about Jake then. I think Jake's really giving it a good go. He's fucking getting better. Got a good team around him and that. Got a load of team of yes men as well. Obviously, they love that. The Americans love that. But yeah, uh, he's very athletic. I don't think he's a good boxer, though. I think Jake's the better boxer. Fair enough, Dan Silo, it's a pleasure to talk to yourself, hopefully, we'll get some news, man, yeah. we'll get some news soon, Dan Silo, it's a pleasure, mate.